Welcome one, welcome all, to Let's Play Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening Deluxe. Last time I had went and gotten the tail key, which unlocks the way to the first dungeon. But I had stated quickly, right before that video ended, that I was going to do a few side quests first. Doing these side quests now instead of later... It's, let's just say it's less frustrating if you get these done right away. And one of the first ones I want to do is right up this way. Hey, Mr. Fisherman, how you doing? How about some fishing, little buddy? I'll only charge you ten rupees. Fish, or not now. I want to go fishing. Okay, here's how you do it. Use left and right and the control pad to aim a cast. Once you hook a fish, press the button rapidly to reel them in. A or B. Doesn't matter. Now, there's little runts here. He's only net you about five rupees. It's a runt! I'll only give you a five rupee price for that. You should try again. Uh, sure. And he just repeats all this spiel again. You don't want to fish out the whole pond. There's a good reason for this. Uh, fishy! Button mashing! All the time. It's a runt! Five rupees again. I'll give it a shot again because I want to fish it all out. Speaking of fishing, earlier this day I was doing my best in Ocarina of Time 3D to get the gold scale. Whew, that, took, that took me quite a while because it was getting frustrating. But then once I got that all done, I decided, oh, why not go for the Hylian Loach? And it didn't take me all that long at all to get the thing. And I even got it legally too. Yeah, that was way more satisfying to get than the other fish. Ugh. This one didn't take nearly as long. Way more satisfying. Hey, 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 now. You're mine. It's a lunker. I'll give you a 20 rupee prize. Try again? Sure. This about such. Now, if you're doing it, if you just want to catch one fish, this is the guy you want. Although you really do want to uh, fish them all out because, in the end, you turn a little profit. Now, can we get this guy's attention, please? Come on. There we go. Come on, come on, come on, come on! And he's mine! Oh, it's a big one! And he has a piece of heart, too! You get a 20 rupee prize on top of that! Try again? This pond's all fished out. Why not try your luck in the sea? Um, sure. Did I say that? Forget it, okay? Run along now. And I think the profit you turn is about 5 rupees. Better than nothing. And the next little sub mini game, I was gonna call it sub game. Right in here. Really easy. Talk to this guy. Trendy game! One play, ten rupees. Wanna play? Sure. A and B buttons move this crane. The rest is just timing. Go over the buttons to play. Good luck! Timing! I had to pull that one. prize I want is in the middle. Hi, Yoshi! Grabbing this will start you in a trading quest that's required to get through the game. Because you need a certain one of the items at a certain point in the game. And when you do, it's better to just have it all taken care of and not have to backtrack a bit. Yoshi doll! Recently seems to be showing up in many games. Well, per the release date, that is. Go, go, go. Grass. Cut the grass. The next part of the quest is right in here. Talk to this woman here. Don't cut her. You get that doll to my baby? Um, okay. Oh, thank you. You're indeed a generous person. I'll give you this. A 
rid it. Talk to you later. The bow for the ribbon comes into play here. Makeup, jewels, dresses. I want it all. <sighs> and some new accessories would be nice. Oh, that ribbon. I need it. Will you trade it for my dog food? Okay. Lucky. Thanks. Well, here's a can of dog food. You exchange the ribbon for dog food. It's full of juicy beef. Do you have a do you have beef with me? Tell me, do you have beef with me? I am one crazy, crazy idiot. Ignoring everybody. Going along. Killing everybody. Because it's fun. Getting money. Because it's fun. Killing guys. Because it's fun. Getting money. I said that already. Now take a spin attack. You want to give the canned food to this guy? What's that you have? His canned food? For heaven's sake, man! Give me the. Give that dog food to me, please! He's hysterical. What do you do? Sure, take it, please. Calm down. Oh, thank you! I'll take that! No, no, no. No, 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 no. Munch, munch. That was great! I know it's not a fair trade, but here's some bananas! Yum! I want to get this before I progress any further. Any good deal? That's a good deal. Weird. Uh, keep going. So now I think I'll actually proceed to the dungeon. Magic powder for you! Burn! I'll collect that later. That would just be some rustling in the background. Know that for now. I'm not paying attention. That's not good. That's never good. Just use the tail key here, and this opens the door right up. I want to change back to this. And now, level one, tail cave. This is the very first dungeon in the game. For the most part, it's kind of easy, but I've never been partial to this boss in this place at all whatsoever. For the reasons I'll get to when he shows up. And now, the longest dialogue ever! When you get the compass, it will do this every time. Basically what it is, is when you get a compass, it'll show off the where all the treasure chests and the, where the boss is. And if you enter a room where there's a key in it, you'll hear a tone, as such. Give me my money. Step on the switch. And would you look at that? It's a small key! The little skeleton guys here will jump when you try to slash at them. Bats we've seen before. This chest gives you a map. This one actually, well, shows you what the map is like. As such. Now this guy doesn't take much at all to take care of him. Opens his chest, which is 20 rupees. Joy! Ah, da, 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 da. That was my fault. Come on. I guess I'll take the guardian acorn. Reduction of damage by half may be useful at this point because I'm being silly. Closed door, what are we gonna do? Well, more like, what am I gonna do? You're just gonna sit and watch. Ignoring that, I don't wanna deal with you. 
pushing block time, a staple of the series. Now you simply just have to use your shield to flip the guys over as such, because they're pretty much impenetrable. No, they're indestructible when they're that way. And Goombas? In my Zelda game? What happens when you fall on one? Ow. Oh, whatever. I'm just gonna slash him. Give me my money. This one, I want. Do I have to drop on this one? Yes. Wee! You can step on him like in Mario. How the heck do you get that? That'll be right in here. One of my favorite items in the game. The Rock's Feather. It feels like your body's a lot lighter. Basically, this allows you to jump. This allows me to get such a good rhythm in this game. Because it means I can do spin attacks without having to stop. Like that. Watch it. Feels so good. It feels so good to hop around. Although, good, good idea to be careful. Now you notice this here? Makes a weird tinging sound when you hit it like that. I'm gonna have to come back here later to deal with that. I have a way to deal with it. It's another key! Lock doors. Ow! That's... That's the good thing the acorn does. You don't really take a whole lot of damage. Because most everything here does a half a heart. Except for the guys that bounce around when you slash them. Those do one heart to you. And that was the boss key. Simple enough. Allows you to get to the boss. Alright, moving right along. Boing! You're dead. A key unlocks here. Now, this takes me a little bit of time. Now, when you cut one of these things, it, they go to one of the suits of playing cards. Get it wrong, they start moving again. Ah. There we go. Two spades. Three spades. We're done. This gives you a stone beak. In the original version, this was part of a slab. This was not an owl. But that allows you to read what these do. Turn aside the spined ones with a shield. Yeah, I already said that. But if you were playing through this with no knowledge whatsoever and you wandered through here, that's how you'd learn how to beat it. Also, sub boss time! Come on, can I get him? Oh, I have the. Oh, now he's dead! Cut up the deep dying boss! The fairy will always. Rest I think. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that just restores you to full health, no matter what. Now the boss key opens up these doors. Well, nightmare key to be exact. Meet the first boss. Ah, I forget your name. Oh god! That's. This is one of the reasons I dislike the boss so much. Pushes you in the pit and you have to restart all over. And contact with the boss is one full heart of damage. Another reason why I don't like it. Because I am really prone to taking lots and lots and lots of damage. Because I happen to be derpy like that. Ah! As you'll see here. Wait, what? Usually that's a full heart. That, oh yeah, I have the guardian acorn. Duh. Let's try this again. Come on. I am being way too careful with this one. Come on. Ow. There we go. Dead. Die. Heart container! Upgrade your life by one full heart. And this is... Is... The Full Moon Cello! One of the eight 
instruments, uh, the sirens, that will be needed to, uh, that will be needed to awaken the wind fish, as the owl has been explaining. Swamp, a path opens in the blooms. Anyway, that's the first dungeon taken care of. Go this way, the owl has been waiting for you. Whoop! That is an instrument of the silence. I have to admit, at first I did not believe you were real. That instrument, along with the seven others in the set, has the power to wake the windfish. You must collect them all. I was instructed to give you directions. Your next goal is north, in Goponga Swamp. Whoop! Indeed. That'll be for another video. Anyway, I'm Nick, I'm signing off. Thank you very much for watching this video.